Jared Poland, Frono's Photo. Dot com, and I'm here with another raw edit of the week, and this time it's of this photo right here of Ed Sheeran that I captured at the Q102 Jingle Ball not too long ago. Now, I love this raw file, and I'm going to go through my edit in a couple of seconds that you can see, or so that you can see, what I did. But I want to let you know that I'm going to give away a free print of this image. I'm not sure what size, I'm not sure what model, I'm not sure if it's going to come from my Pixima printer or from Adorama Pix. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to give at least one away, if not too, so pay attention to the end of this video for the full rules on what you need to do in order to win one of these prints of this file. So stay tuned and enjoy this raw edit of the week. Here we go with this Ed Sheeran photo. I'm going to do my raw edit before we open it up to you guys to do whatever you would like with this raw file and put it in the fro forum. Don't forget to stay tuned to the end of this video where I will give you the rules for how you can win this print. I'm not sure where we're going to print it from yet, but you could win one of these prints from me. So what was it taken at? 1 1250th of a second F45 ISO 4110 millimeters with the Nikon 70-200 2.8VR2 using the Nikon D4. We zoom in here, it goes pow, nice and sharp. Now I know this doesn't look like much of an image yet. It's flat and it's bland and it's blah. But the lights were beautiful when I saw them in person so that I know that I can make this go boom McBoomerson with a raw edit. That is the point of the raw file. It starts off here, but where it ends, you guys are going to be surprised. So I'm just going to go through here and do my type of edit. Boom. Get some contrast up in here. Boom. All right. Got my contrasty, my contraster thing, thing going. I usually do punch up a little bit of a clarity here just to see what we get. I mean, I love what's going on. It's a little blown out in the face for now. Uh, I'm not done tweaking McTweakersing -ing -ing yet. But remember, I don't think highlights is what you can use. I mean, that doesn't look terrible here. But remember that if you go way too far with the highlights, you get this really bad look in the face. I do not like the way that looks. So, so far, not bad. But I want it to go boom more. I want more contrast out of this. So I go down here to my point curve, and I either go from strong, which kills the tones, kills the details, gets rid of them, or sometimes I go to medium. Now, it depends on the image. This time, I feel that the medium is working best for me. I like the way that the medium tone curve is working. Actually, this exposure is a little too blown out um, right there. Oops. I want it to be at 0.55. Boom. Now that's much better. It was overexposed before. So here we go. Uh, I also feel like it needs to be warmed up a little bit. I do not like how not warm it is. So we'll take it a little bit. I had this preset earlier for right around there. And look at that difference. You've got that compared to where were we before? Right about there. So that was not right. I didn't like the feel of it. This yellow feels a little bit more warm to me. I'm liking that a little bit. So we also have the option to throw in our shadows here. You can go too far with shadows. I mean, yeah, it looks fine, but you're going to start seeing major grain and noise in the detail area in the background. So I think that's too far. I like the feel of it around 22 for this image because you still have the darkness of the background, but you still have the lights going on there. So if you go too far, eh. Too bright, too much in the background, too distracting for me, and you lose the blacks of the shirts, and you start losing those thick tones that you like to go for. Um, what can we do with the whites? I like to pump them up sometimes, not all the time, and I choose this over the highlights a lot of the times. Right about there, looks good. Look at this, we're nice in on the face, we got nice clarity, but something else that I also want to do to this image, I feel that we need to have some vibrance and we need to have some saturation. Um, I just felt like it was missing if we didn't have it. And I didn't think it deterred the image too much. I'd like, look, if we go too far on the vibrance, I mean, that's not even too far. Look at the hair. It looks really good. So right here, I think it's a good medium place. I don't think it's too extreme where you don't think it's real, even though I love the way that it looks. But I pulled back just a little bit so it's a little more on the real side. And then I put this saturation up to about here. Let's just drag it and see where we go. See, I think that's not good enough. And then I think we put in some more. And then, boom, right about here, it looks pretty natural to me. So where did I have my preset earlier? I think it was pretty similar to this. I'm very happy with this edit. And like I said, I've printed this out with my Canon Pixima Pro 10. And I am fascinated with the color renditions that are coming out of the printer. And I am loving the tones that I got from this file. So this is open to you guys to edit. But look 
at the colors. Look at the quality here. Look at the tones. I just threw my general sharpening in here. Um, and remember, don't go too far with the clarity because that could happen if you do that. How many times have you seen a picture where people do this? Oh, it just hurts because look how crispy and look at this spot. Ah, just too much. Just go back. It looks better. It looks more real in my opinion. So here is the contest. You have until the date's up on the screen to go ahead and put your raw edit up from this file in the Fronos Photo Forum. So that is one way that you can win. Put it up there. I will be selecting my favorite, whether it's an ultra extreme rendition or whatnot. Don't copy the exact same thing that I did. Put up your image if it kind of is the same as what mine is then so be it but i am going to pick the winner and i am looking to see what you guys will do with this raw file and i will give you a print from this thank you for popping up on the screen i will give you a print from this file yeah to be yours i will send it to you in the mail so there you guys have it and also pay attention because i will probably run an extra facebook campaign not campaign but a facebook contest for uh doing something else so there you have it guys that is a raw edit of the week be sure to download the file over on the website and let's see what you guys come up with jared poland fronos photo.com see ya Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, just click the subscribe button right here below the video as YouTube has made the change. And one more thing, click on subscription updates, manage subscriptions, and if you would like to get an email every time I upload a new video, click this box. If you'd like to see it in your feed on YouTube, click that box. And over on fronosphoto.com, if you haven't signed up for the Fronos Photo email list, you can go ahead and put your name in this box, your email in this box, hit send it, and I will send you a free photo guide, a guide to capturing motion in low light situations. If you're new to photography or you're somewhere in the intermediate range looking to learn a little bit more about your camera and how to get out of auto, don't forget about the Fronos Photo Beginner Guide, a guide to getting out of auto. It's at a special price right now. It's a three hour long video. You can buy it as an instant download or as a free, as a physical copy with free shipping around the world. So thank you guys very much for watching.